Hey everyone, and welcome back to a card game where sometimes you can turn into a card yourself when the game glitches out on you, that is. But today, the main topic won't be uh, glitches, but actually card trader. So we have uh, two types of card traders in this game. So the first one that I'm showing you right now is card trader EX. We won't be talking about this card trader today, because this card trader... Well, it only appears here during certain events, so his stock changes all the freaking time. But the card trader which appears next to the shop appears here all the time, and his stock is pretty consistent. So, so as you can see, his stock changes every 8 hours, so you can get all of these cards which are here only once during these 8 hours, then after these 8 hours his stock changes and then some new cards may appear here and you can get them again. So uh, the pull of these cards which appear here is actually from this featured cards section. And as you can see we have a lot of cards here, <laughs> so, so today we'll be uh, devoting ourselves to this section alone. We also have one more section. Uh, which is called uh, regular inventory. You can also get card trader cards uh, from this section here. These cards which are here, there are even more cards than in the featured section. These cards which are here, they do not appear at card trader rotation. So here you can get uh, these cards just manually whenever you want. But uh, take note that you can only get uh, one card from this particular menu once every eight hours. So. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into the featured cards, and let's start off with, uh, yeah, Ultra Rares. Now, before I start uh, reviewing these cards which you should get from Card Trader, so the reason behind this video is to help out uh, more new players, simply because new players, they have scarce resources at their disposal, they don't have too much gold, they don't have too much uh, stones, and they don't have too much jewels, because all of these uh, things you need to use to actually get the cards, and new players don't have too much of these resources. Uh, veteran players, they won't face too much issues with these resources, except one particular resource actually, which is uh, rare stones. <laughs> yeah, these ones are really hard to get, especially if you want to um, improve rarity of these cards that you can get at the card trader, then you need to invest the uh, rare stones and the game is not giving you too much of them, unfortunately. But new players though, they will have a problem with obtaining super rare and ultra rare jewels. So so this video is meant to uh, yeah, help these people out so that you know how to invest your resources correctly into the cards which you can obtain from the card trader. So. And also, I won't be reading the uh, descriptions of uh, these cards that I'll be reviewing today. Uh, if you want to read the descriptions of them, if you don't know what these cards do, just pause the video and that's it. So, <laughs> But okay, let's hop right into it. So the first card here is uh, Dragon Master Knight. Now, this card uh, is more like a collector's item. Uh, you won't find this card to be too practical at all, because as you can see, his conditions to summon him are pretty insane. Even Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon alone has pretty insane conditions to summon on itself, you know? So this card, yeah, is more of a um, collector's item only. So, But even if you manage to summon him on the board somehow, then, uh, well, yeah, he has high attack power, but... Um, He's not doing anything, pretty much. So, yeah, it's just giant beat stick on the board, and that's pretty much it. So, And speaking about uh, this particular archetype, because this uh, card is a, uh, a part of um, Black Luster Soldier archetype, you'll see um, some interesting things here in regards to Card Trader, that Card Trader loves Black Luster Soldier cards, and Card Trader loves Arrow Mages as well. <laughs> So if you want to build these two archetypes, then check uh, Card Trader pretty frequently, so... But um, yeah, that's it for uh, Dragon Master Knight. A collector's item only. 
So next up is Aroma Seraphy Rosemary. So this um, Synthro Master is a really nice addition to um, Aromage decks. So if you are playing Aromages, then definitely include um, her in your deck as well. If you are playing a particular type of Aromage deck, which includes Synchro Masters, there um, Aroma Seraphy Rosemary is uh, an excellent addition. So, oh boy, next we have Cypher Soldier, also uh, one of the best cards that you can get at Card Trader. Oh boy, this guy is loved by many and also hated by many as well, Jesus. Such a nice counter card, especially now in meta. Simply because currently in meta there are a lot of decks which are running warrior type monsters, starting from um, six Sams and ending with Amazons. So this card just basically counters them. <laughs> especially, uh, yeah, if uh, the guy who has Cypher Soldiers in his deck, plays Weevil, then that's just the perfect combination. So, if you are that type of guy, then uh, definitely pick this guy up. Okay, next we have a Swamp Mirror. So, this card uh, really fits well into these type of decks, which feature a lot of trap cards. But also, um, not many people know this, but this card actually fits really well in new dino decks which have a survival's end so basically um you change this card to dinosaur and yeah then it synergizes pretty well with survival's end and also remember that uh, this card also acts as a normal monster so okay so next we have black luster soldier envoy of the evening twilight jesus that's a mouthful <laughs> But yeah, this guy, it's good, but not the best card that you can get at Card Trader. There is uh, one more Black Luster Soldier card that you can get, not from this menu, not from this featured cards menu, but from the regular inventory, and that one is a much more better one. But uh, this one, on its own, uh, also, it's kind of like a borderline between uh, a good card and a collector's item card. <laughs> But it's not too good simply because the um, requirements to summon him are um, kind of tricky. And also when you summon him, okay, he activates his effect and you cannot conduct your battle phase when you do that. And then after that he's not doing anything, he just becomes a giant beastic on the board. So yeah, however though, it synergizes really well with Sphere Karibo, so yeah, you should keep that in mind. I sometimes actually uh, included this card in my uh, Blue Eyes deck, uh, so there it sometimes actually worked wonders. Okay, next we have Papa Corn. Uh, this card is good, but uh, not too good in the current meta. Simply because uh, now in the meta, big giant freaking beat sticks doesn't matter. This card becomes a giant beat stick, maybe not the biggest beat stick in the world, but becomes a big beat stick uh, when a field spell card is on the field. And that's pretty much it. He has no other effect. So This card works really well if you use uh, skills which just um, start the duel with field spells already on the field. So. Okay, that's it for ultra rare cards, and now let's uh, talk about super rares. As you can see, I'm not mentioning all the cards which are here, simply because uh, some of them are just trash, so I'm just skipping those. I'm just mentioning the ones that are worth mentioning, so. Okay, so the first card uh, worth mentioning here in the super rare section is a Trimate Pulse. Uh, this card works really well in the Magnet Warrior decks. They are not too present currently, but they were present before, and uh, this card worked uh, yeah, pretty well there. Also, there will be this upcoming box, which will feature some uh, Magnet Warrior support. So I think we'll probably see more of this card on ladder soon. So As you can see in this video, I'm touching meta a bit, although... Uh, my main idea behind these Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links videos on my channel do not touch the meta too much, but I'm touching the meta simply because to give you uh, a brief look into the cards which are the most played ones 
which uh, appear very very frequently in the game. So, but keep in mind that uh, cards that you can obtain from Card Trader are not only good in the meta; they are good just for regular gameplay in dual world and also for farming and grinding. So. Okay, so next we have Skull Maester. So previously this card uh, was pretty hard to obtain, but now it appears at Card Trader. This is uh, one of the best hand traps in the game together with uh, Sphere Coribo. Simply because uh, many decks currently they actually benefit from the graveyard effects, and this card just shuts down these decks. So, so definitely get this card. Really nice card, this one. Okay, so next we have Aeromage Kananga. Oh boy, I was waiting a long freaking time when this card will appear at the card trader and it was added recently, so finally it's here. So is this card good enough to uh, increase the tier of Aeromages? Well, we'll see, simply because this card was added just a few days ago. <laughs> but I'll definitely experiment with this one. Because previously, Arrow Mages, they were always lacking something, and mainly it was actually back row removal, so uh, this card, uh, yeah, actually deals with that. So, because previously, Arrow Mages, they were always like this mid-tier deck, somewhere around uh, gold ranks, platinum ranks, but not uh, further than that. But maybe Arrow Mage Kananga will actually, yeah, make them better. We'll see. But I'm definitely uh, having really high hopes about this card. Okay, next we have Harpy Lady number one. Uh, currently, this card um, is not shining too much, simply because Harpy decks are not shining in general in this game currently. But uh, keep this card in mind for the future, if there will be even more Harpy Lady support added. Because um, this card... Uh, Yes, the effect maybe is small, but uh, it gives that particular attack boost that Harpy Ladies actually need. So yeah, don't forget this card that it is at Card Trader, so if you'll have some new Harpy Lady support, then uh, yeah, definitely pick this card. Okay, so next we have DNA Surgery, also uh, loved by many and hated by many, simply because of uh, Buster Blader decks. So if you are playing these uh, decks, then uh, definitely pick this card. So, Okay, next we have Debunk. So this card is not used by many, but in my opinion it's kind of like a small little hidden gem, simply because it not only can shunt down uh, graveyard effects, but it can also shut down Sphere Kuribo, which is uh, sometimes really, really important. So, so yeah, keep that card in mind, that it is here. So, Okay, so next we have Crystal Raigeki. Uh, this card is really nice in uh, Transcendent Crystals decks. So if you are playing these type of decks, which usually feature Sound Magician and whatnot, then uh, yeah, definitely pick this card up. As you can see, I'm not mentioning all the perfect scenarios where these cards can be good, simply because, uh, well, keep in mind, I'm free to play player, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have all of these decks that I mentioned, for example, in this video. I'm just simply mentioning um, the scenarios that I faced on ladder, decks that I faced on ladder, where these cards were in. So, yeah, and also, uh, currently, I don't have actually too much time to play this game, so I cannot just play each and every single deck that is out there, <laughs> so... However, though, I am mentioning cards uh, that I faced on ladder, cards that I personally used, and also cards uh, that I had trouble with on ladder as well, so... Generally speaking, if, for example, you are facing someone on ladder who uses pretty OP card, then that basically means that that card is good. And if it is at Card Trader, then definitely pick it up. Simply because if you will decide to build a deck that features that card, then your deck will be good. Then your opponent will have hard time facing against you. You know? That's how it works. <laughs> so. Okay, so next we have Super Solar Nutrient. Uh, this card is also like a small little hidden gem, which sometimes is included in Arrow Mages. 
So yeah, if you're playing arrow mages, then definitely experiment with this card. So okay, next we have Archfiend Giant. Uh, this is not the best card in Archfiend Archetype, but um, it is here, and sometimes I actually see it being played in uh, Archfiend decks. So if you are playing Archfiends, then uh, yeah, grab this card and experiment with it. So. Okay, next we have my own personal favorite, yeah, this small little lady, Arrow Mage Jasmine. So this is a staple in uh, Arrow Mage decks. If you are playing Arrow Mages, definitely get free copies of this card. Simply, it's, it, it's just an excellent card, okay? Nice drawing engine with some additional nice effect. So, Arrow Mage Jasmine is just amazing. Okay, and the final card from Super Rares is that grass looks greener. So, uh, this card is really good if your deck benefits from graveyard effects. So, uh, yeah, if you're facing against someone on ladder, and uh, if the opponent has a 30 card deck, then there is a very big chance that he is actually running this card, simply because many other decks, well, most of them pretty much in Duel Links, they usually just run 20 cards. So... But yeah. This card is uh, really nice, especially currently where uh, many decks actually run just 20 cards. So you can uh, get quite a nice benefit from this card currently. And yeah, that's it for uh, Super Rares, so now we'll hop into Rares. Okay, so first card is Different Dimension Capsule. Uh, this card is uh, pretty much only good in uh, farming decks to get the card that you need faster to your hand, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is just a card for farming. <laughs> so, But it's a really nice farming card, so uh, definitely get it if you're into farming. So, Okay, next we have uh, Synchro Monster Gigantic Castle. Uh, by its own, this is just a big freaking giant beat stick on the board. However, though, this card is sometimes used in Blue Eyes decks, so to run over other Blue Eyes decks. So yeah, there, uh, this card uh, fits really well, so. Okay, next we have Danipan. I haven't seen this card played at all, however though, this card has um, some pretty nice effect and I believe if we'll have even more insect support, this card will become even better. Generally speaking, um, if you see a card that uh, adds cards from your deck to your hand, these cards are good, simply because, well, it means that you thin out your deck, you get the cards that you need in your hand. But, well, you know how the saying goes, deck thinning is deck winning. So, yeah, definitely uh, watch out for this card uh, in the future, if there will be some more insect support added. So, Okay, so next we have Atlantine Attack Squad. And now this card uh, is not appearing too much at all on ladder, but uh, before when uh, Mako decks were just rampant on ladder, then this card actually appeared sometimes in these decks. Simply because it becomes big freaking beat stick on the board. And Mako even doesn't need to do anything. <laughs> Mako just needs to be himself to uh, get the benefit from this card. So Now, yeah, it's not too present on ladder. However, if you are a fan of Mako, I advise you to uh, grab this card. Especially if you are playing C beat down decks. So. Okay, so next we have Arrow Mage Rosemary. So her effect is really nice. This is also a staple in um, Arrow Mage decks. Monster effect negation is good, and also, uh, yeah, this semi enemy controller effect is really nice as well. So, yeah, if you are playing Arrow Mages, definitely pick Rosemary up. Next we have Arrow Mage Bergamot, also a staple in Arrow Mage decks. So, if you are playing those, definitely pick this guy up. This guy just becomes insane if the conditions are met. He becomes big, huge beastic on the board. However, not the regular beastic, but with some additional effect where he can deal piercing damage. So, <laughs> yeah. And piercing damage is not only applied to Bergamot himself, but also to all the other uh, plant monsters that you have in your deck. Basically, all the other arrow mages. So. And that's it for rares, so uh, yeah, now finally let's hop into um, normal rarity cards. As you can see, there are not many of them, so yeah. <laughs> so speaking about uh, normal, aka 
common rarity cards. We have only two cards which we are interested in here. So the first one is Six Scrolls of the Samurai. So this card is also a hidden gem in Six Sam decks. I was actually experimenting with this card a bit, but never managed to pull it off for whatever reason. <laughs> so my idea was that when a lot of Six Sam decks were rampant on ladder and I was also running Six Sam deck, then my idea was to include this card in my deck to tribute not my 6M monsters, no, 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 but opponent's 6M monsters, because this card does not specify which 6M monsters you should tribute. So I believe you can tribute also opponent's 6Ms. But the problem with this card, why I was never able to pull it off, well, there are two reasons. First reason is that uh, whenever I tried to pull it off, uh, opponent already had Xi'an on the board, like Synchro, Xi'an, and uh, yeah, if I would even activate this card, then uh, it would be negated. And the other reason is because you have to include the Great Shogun Xi'an in your deck, like regular Xi'an, you know? And uh, that's kind of tricky one, simply because you cannot summon him by normal means, and also it does not have a benefit of having a 6 Sam in his name. So yeah, that's uh, one big downside of Great Shogun Xi'an, so... However, uh, yeah, keep in mind that this card exists here, and sometimes... If Six Sam's again will be rampant on ladder someday... Well, keep in mind that this card exists here, that you can just pick it up. And besides, it's a common card, so it's easy to get. And also, don't forget that this is a quick play spell, and quick play spells are just amazing, so... Okay, and finally we have Aroma Garden, also a staple in Aroma decks, so if you are playing Aeromage decks, definitely include this card in. As you can see, Aeromage decks, they have a lot of staples, so there's not too much space for some random shenanigans in these kind of decks. So, yeah, maybe that's why they are still somewhere around gold, platinum ranks, but we'll see what will happen now that Kananga has been added, so... Aeromages are lacking uh, life point restoration options during your opponent's turn. There is one card that kinda deals with that, which is also a sleeper card, which is called... Uh, I think it was called Spell Absorbing Life. So that one is sometimes used, and also, yeah, don't forget about Draining Shield. And yeah, these two options are the only options that we have to activate uh, life gaining effects during opponent's turn, so... Decent options, I mean. <laughs> Aroma Garden gives you life points, but only during your turn, so... yeah. But this card is good. Life Restoration effect here is only activated when your Aroma monster is destroyed, so technically it can activate Life Restoration effect during opponent's turn, but this effect is kinda like predictable, opponent knows, that it will happen, so yeah. Well, if the opponent can read, that is. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We touched all featured cards which are at Card Trader, which are useful ones. So hopefully, you found this video useful, especially new players who are struggling which cards to choose to get from Card Trader. And yeah, in the uh, next video, maybe two next videos, we will actually touch other cards that you can get from Card Trader, which are good as well, from the regular inventory. But yeah guys, uh, this is it for today, and see you all in the next video. Cheers!